what's up guys it is your host gaming bud and uh as you saw just then there was a little intro there and i hope y'all enjoyed it and that intro is nothing permanent but i decided to add it in once i kind of figured out what i could do uh to kind of you know make it i kind of played around with this iMovie software for a little bit and it's pretty easy to figure out i, I really like it a lot um but yeah the i'm just going to be showing you a few battles from uh, last night that I did there were three battles that I'm going to show and uh, There is no particular order. They just when I you know when I attacked And anyways, these are the battles that got me into Pekka's Playhouse and so it's not gonna be anything too too exciting, but uh, Trying to bring Clash Royale and what I usually would post on this channel You know to the channel instead of you know those other games that I'd kind of been showcasing so anyways he uh, drops a musketeer, and I drop a knight to counter that musketeer. And so after that musketeer dies, I put a musketeer behind my knight to try to start up a, a, a push. But the uh, the skeleton army kind of uh, just took both of that away. So these archers right here will get a little bit of work done on this knight. I also drop a baby dragon to tank for these archers after they kill the knight. And so I have a baby dragon and an archer going down the lane, and they're going to get a little bit of damage off from the tower, which is all we really need. I drop some arrows to take out this goblin barrel, and right now we're just kind of at a standstill, regaining our elixir. He drops a musketeer on the bridge, which is really helpful for me. It, it really helps me out because it, it's, it's really easy to defend when you just place stuff on the bridge. And I know there was a while back where there was a bridge spam meta, but of course, this is just the lower arena, and like there really isn't any strategy to that bridge placement right there. So he drops the knight and has some minions in behind. And if y'all haven't noticed, he just drops everything on the bridge, which will make this battle really easy for me. So, pro tip, if you drop a lot of stuff on the bridge like this guy does, you need to stop doing that because <laughs> it's it's not going to work out for you. So I drop a knight... And Baby Dragon to take out all the stuff that he's placing on the bridge. Uh, he has a knight and prince coming down the lane, and I counter that with a tombstone. And this Baby Dragon just takes out... It really gets its <laughs> its worth right there. So I place a giant down and have a uh, musketeer and archers coming down the lane. I drop into a Baby Dragon, and this is just going to be a massive push that will end it all for this dude. Uh... I don't even think we go into overtime. We actually might. No, no we don't. So I take out that tower, and that's the end of the match. I hit him with the good game, well played, good luck, thumbs up. Gotta hit him with the combo. And try to get that combo as fast as possible. <laughs> so anyways, I go collect the reward. I, actually, it's, uh, I think I got that reward for reaching Pekka's Playhouse or something. Anyways, and that's just the... Uh, the the cards that you get out of the chest right there uh, when you get to Pekka's Playhouse. And actually, I and, and there's a little deal that I, that I don't buy because I have no money. And I actually don't have any cards from Barbarian Bowl or Pekka's Playhouse because I've, I've, like, I've gotten through those two arenas within a three-hour span. And uh, so I haven't collected any new cards. And all of those chests are Arena 2 chests, actually, so... <laughs> yeah... I'm just basically playing with a Bone Pit deck. And, and it's not that hard. I mean, there's some good cards in there. Uh, just no legendaries. <laughs> so he drops the giant skeleton on the bridge. And, and I've just found that a lot with uh, beginning players for Clash Royale. Uh, they drop a lot of stuff just on the bridge. And they think that they drop it closer to the tower, it'll get more damage off. Because, you know, you try to get it to the tower as quick as possible. But you need to be a little more patient, you know? And, uh, yeah. So he drops that goblin barrel right there, and I have some arrows to take those out. And meanwhile, my musketeer and baby dragon are putting a number on this tower, and they actually take it out right there. So I'm leading right now uh, one, uh, one crown tower to zero. And uh, right now, uh, if I was in a higher arena, I would be thinking about playing conservatively and defending. But in these lower arenas, you really don't have to worry about all that. So I just drop a giant in the back and start up a slow push to take out this left-hand side crown tower. 
And a lot of times, these guys rage quit after I take out the first tower, which might have happened here. But, uh, it, yeah, it looks like he's not playing anymore. And so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm taking out this tower right here. And he has definitely given up. I'm leading 2-0, to zero, and I'm about to get a 3 crown. And sorry if you hear any parent noise in the background. <laughs> they, uh, they're probably just trying to get my attention. Uh, but anyways, that was a 3 crown to 0 victory. Uh, and we're going to show this last battle right here. And I'm facing off against Deceron. And uh, I just start off just saving up my elixir and put a baby dragon down in the back. And he plays a witch in the back with the baby dragon. So that's nine elixir right there. And so I have eight elixir on the field. And now he just drops that musketeer and I drop a fireball for a positive elixir trade right there. So then I have a knight and a musketeer on the map. And he counters it actually pretty well with a valkyrie. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, this guy kind of kind of knows what he's doing, but I wasn't too worried. He drops skeleton army at the bridge, which was again a uh, a noob move. I drop some archers to take that out because I want to save my arrows for a possible goblin barrel. So he has, I have a giant and archers going down the lane, and they're taking on a uh, witch right here, and. Uh, the musketeer and archers took out that witch pretty easily, and I thought I was going to take this tower down, but he drops a fireball on my musketeer and archers, which is a pretty good move on him. Most people down in these arena actually would have just put a fireball on the giant. So he has a balloon at the bridge, which once again shows, uh, I don't know, maybe his beginnerness. Uh, I was able to take that out pretty quickly with a baby dragon and a uh, tombstone pool. And I have a knight and baby dragon coming down the lane. And they're going to take care of this Valkyrie pretty easily. And if he doesn't drop anything else, then this baby dragon... Okay, yeah, he drops a baby dragon. And they'll kind of duke it out until my baby dragon dies. And I drop a giant to distract this baby dragon. While my archer tower... And my crown tower does work on the baby dragon. And my archers are doing... Are taking out that skeleton army so my giant doesn't die too quickly. And right here, we take out that musketeer. Then he drops a witch and takes out my musketeer. But uh, they kind of counter each other out. So he has a Valkyrie. And I don't want that tombstone to die just in case he drops a balloon. So I, I drop a knight to take out that Valkyrie. And I do drop my arrows here to take out the skeleton army because uh, I haven't seen a goblin barrel dropped in a while. And this baby dragon does take out the tombstone which was uh, unfortunate for me because now that balloon I uh, didn't get pulled and its bomb will get some damage off I think on my tower I couldn't tell just then and uh, so I have a baby dragon knight uh, musketeer archers all coming down the lane and they're taking out this tower pretty easily uh, that giant actually didn't take it out but those baby dragons and knights came to clean it up I hit him once again with the good game good, uh, well played good luck and thumbs up and he hit me with the thanks, which is really uh, nice of him. So that's going to be about it. Thank you for stopping by to watch. If you watch this whole thing, if you're listening to my voice right now, I really appreciate it because you watch the whole video. Most people, as you know, watch about the first 30 seconds. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you all have had a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, that'll be about it. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. There's my deck right there if you all uh, wanted to see it. Uh, that's the deck that's gotten me pretty far, uh, but otherwise that's about it. I'm in the clan Clash Royale. If you want to join, there's like six people in it, and I really don't know anybody in it. I just joined a random clan, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.